Okay, we're going to add CF, COT and Expansion Mod to a new provider, to a GTX. So, first thing we want to do, we want to go to our GTX control panel for our servo. Make sure it's torn down. Everything off. And we want to go to the mod Work Steam Workshop in the blue. It's all very fancy control panel. We want to look for CF then, so we'll just go for more subscribe. There we go, top of the list, we just hit install. We want to install it, and then install Community Online Tools. Took a little, little while to figure it out there, but I only rented this server like half an hour ago. So, I was looking for the mod command line. I was trying to get in the run.bat file, and... It's a totally different kind of setup. Alright, we want to find CF. Uh, community Online Tools, there it is. We'll install that. Doesn't take long to install the mods. Working. Here we go. We go back to our main page for our server. Go into our File Manager, Workshop Mods, the down the bottom. I'm still getting the hang of this new control panel. <laughs> Take a little while. There's our two mods there. Alright. I'm trying to remember now. Config files. We go for the workshop mods, text editor. There they are there. Whatever way you, you subscribe to them, install them. On GTX is the way they then get put in your mod command line. I was looking for that mod command line. That's the way they then get entered into the mod command line, so... You can still edit that if you wish to, if you wanted to rearrange the order, like just copy and paste. But we don't need to do that. Alright, we go back. Server should be good. We start up the server and join it. Alright. There we are, in the server. We know them two mods are up and running. We just back out now. Now, we just go back to our control panel. We want to stop the server now. We got the server stopped. We're going to have to go on back in the Steam Workshop. We want to go back up over to the search. Type in expansion, lowercase. There you go, expansion vehicles. We don't. We want to go for the most subscribed first. Because we want to get expansion and expansion license first, and then you install the expansion vehicles, and then in, then expansion core. It'll automatically do it for you anyway. GTX, was, which is pretty cool. I like it when I when you install expansion because it has a dependency. It'll automatically install expansion license and put it after. So we just install expansion, and that'll take care of the license also. We'll go in then and we'll we'll install the uh, expansion vehicles and then it'll automatically load expansion core afterwards. There we go. That should have been installed the two of them. We'll just check to make sure. There we 
we go, expansion and expansion license installed. We'll just go now from most most subscribed to most popular. And there we go, there's expansion vehicles and expansion core. We want to install vehicle first so it'll install core afterwards. So we just hit on that, let it download. Alright, that should be the last of expansion installed. We can actually go back and check it in our command line. Configuration files and then down to our uh, mod. Where is it? Workshop mods. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mods installed. We go back to our game server. Now, we w you want to get the mission files. So, I'll leave a link to this, this uh, page as well. As usual, the new mission files are 1.5.1152. 1 you want to download them. I have them already downloaded to my computer. Once you do that, you want to go to your FTP programs, FileZilla or whatever one you like to use. Then you oh, go back to your control panel and uh, where are we? Server details. If you click in there, you can hit on this. You see you can get any all your details in here. You hit on FTP Pro details and then you just hit e execute. And it'll give you all your FTP details that you need. Just copy and paste them then, bring them over to FileZilla and put them in the top as usual. Just hit connect and it'll automatically connect you. Once you're in FileZilla and you're, you've got your missions downloaded and you have them in a the place that you want them, you go onto your server. I'm going to go in there and scroll down to multiplayer missions. As you see, I've already put them in. This is where I have the missions. They're the outdated ones. These are the new missions. So I just go in and pick which mission files I wanted. Jeez, I cannot get the hang of that. Mouse is a bit weird. Really, it's on Chinaris Plus. Is all you'd have to I, I download the template too because can't do any harm. Doesn't use it unless you use the mission name. So you got Chinaris Plus, Chinaris Plus Gloom, which is the graphical tweaks, Deer Island, Enoch, and then you should have Enoch Gloom, which is Enoch Way graphical tweets. So you can download them all as I, I do, or you can download an individual one depending on what, what mission you want to use. Once you have them downloaded, you want to back out a file Scylla. You want to hit... Oh, what am I on about? <laughs> Once you have them downloaded, you want to go to your multiplayer missions. You want to upload them, not download them into there. Same as usual, hit the three dots, highlight whatever one you want, or all of them in my cases I usually do. And then just upload them over to your server. Once you do that, you want to take the name. You can take it from. You can take it from. Uh, you can take it from FileZilla if you wanted. Just click on it. Click on it again. There's the name. Copy that. We back up. We we'll go back to our control panel. Then now to File Manager, I believe. Yeah. Here we go, config CFG, I click into it, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and, oh, you don't want to take, oh, you just want to put the name inside, we'll highlight that, and paste our new name, mission name in, we just go up to save, then you have server daisy CFG, I'm not what, sure why there's two CFGs there, I don't know which one supersedes, supersedes the other. So I'll put the name into both of them. I'll have to do a test to find out. And we just put that in there. Paste our mission name in again and save it. Once we have that done, we can go back to our control panel and start the server. 
It'll take normally 5-10 minutes to initialize everything, but it should be good to go. And last time, we want to go in now and file, browse, file manager. I scroll down now, and we go to our SC folder, which would be your config folder on Nitrado. Into your SC folder, so you have a profile folder. We scroll down to permissions framework, go to players, and that's us right there. You scroll in there, and you replace everyone with admin. I've actually already done it. Just save it then. You go back, start the server. Same process again, wait for it to start up and join. All right. Here we are. Oh, a little bit. Sorry, really, I'm using video editing software and OBS and a multitude of programs running there at the moment. There we go, we're in the server. We check over admin. Expand stuff in, the usual. Got all the expansion controls up top, you know it's working. Let's just sort the weather out for a start. Oh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> That's a bit better. There we go, all up and working. Just hit insert to go into fly mode in COC, Community Online Tools. Awesome mod. There you go, everything's up and running. See a lot of people are having trouble with the, not having the new mission file. And then the, the fact that expansion is now a four part mod. So hopefully this is helpful to a few people. And as ever, thank you for watching. I'll be back on with another video soon. But take care all.